Yeah, you already know what it is. Lethal Talent 24, die bombing at you with some Eagles content. Let's go. Yo, what up fam, it's your boy Lethal Talent 24 coming at you with another video. And yo, the Philadelphia Eagles have found their offensive coordinator in Shane I think it's Steichen. I, I think that's how you say it. But Shane Steichen, man, he has been acquired by the Philadelphia Eagles for the offensive coordinator position. Now, here's the thing. The Chargers seem like they're absolutely, well, the Chargers and their fans are ab seem like they're glad that he's gone. And uh, the reports out there are saying that he's not exactly bad, but it's not somebody that they would pick for their, like, top five. I forget who said that. It might have been God, Mike Garofalo, but I mean, <clears throat> I mean that. What does that say for the Philadelphia Eagles? Not a lot of people have confidence in this guy outside of the Eagles. So, you know, we'll see what he can do. I mean, but I mean, the Chargers had a pretty good offense last year under Anthony Lynn, and Steve uh, Steichen was part of that. He was the offensive coordinator there. So, I mean, Justin Herbert looked like the real deal. So, I mean. It remains to be seen of what this guy can do with Carson Wentz or Jalen Hurts and, you know, you know what we have in, in him going forward. You know, we'll just have to wait and see. So, other than that, there's been other, some other moves. We lost Dave Phipp and Press Taylor. Thank goodness, man. But uh, Dave Phipp, I think that it was time for him to go considering the fact that, I mean, it just seemed like, it just seemed like he, his magic since, I mean, the Chip Kelly era as far as special teams was gone. Because if you think about it, you know, we had Darren Sproles on punt returns. And, I mean, he made plays um, in Dave Fitt's first few years here. You know what I'm saying? And then I even Josh Huff, when he was uh, when he was on this team, you know, before that whole thing with, uh, you know, getting arrested with the gun and everything. But, you know, when Josh Huff was on this team, I mean, his kickoff returns... Uh, and doing his thing there, I mean, he, I mean, he was a, he was a threat. Josh Huff in the return game was a threat. So, I mean, think about that. I mean, when he came in, bam, you know what I'm saying? Uh, special teams was one thing that was the constant uh, on this team, regardless of our offense or defense was trash. Dave Phipps solidified that. And then you can tell it was falling off. You know what I'm saying? Like either we, we didn't have the guys back there that could return or you know, get good returns. Or, you know, with Jalen Rager, everybody says that, you know, Jalen Rager can return punts a first round pick, mind you. But, you know, even he doesn't look, you know, uh, you know, either confident or doesn't look like he should be back there returning punts. Yes, he returned that one punt for a touchdown against Green Bay. But at the same time, you got to look at the overall consistency, and it just wasn't there. So if you think about it like that, you'll see what I'm talking about. But other than that, man, um, you know, these moves, um, you know, you see like Jet Stoutland, they retain Jeff Stoutland, and um, I already made a report about uh, Tracy Rocker, and then um, they got, was it, uh, and Kevin Petulo as the passing game coordinator. Of course, I just mentioned they retain Stoutland. He's going to be the run game coordinator. I mean, so offensive coordinator, good to go. Defensive coordinator, good to go. Defensive line coach, good to go. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we pretty much have everything set. We just, I believe we still haven't found a linebacker coach. Uh, we still need a QB coach. And uh, a name that I've been hearing thrown around is Pep Hamilton. Uh, as far as I know, you know, a lot of people are calling for him. He was Justin Herbert's um, quarterback's coach in uh, last year, you know, with the Chargers. So, um you know, if, if, I mean, if he's out there and he's willing to, um, come to the Eagles and, and see what he, see what he can do with Carson or, or Jalen, that would be more power to him. You know what I'm saying? And so I would like to see something happen though. I, I just, I don't necessarily know, you know, what to expect from any of these guys, but I know for one thing is that we definitely need to get things rolling and solidified. So yeah, so you guys let me know in the comments below how do you feel about that. And also, uh, you know, Deuce Daly going to the Lions, you know, congratulations to him. You know, that's always uh, a good move. Now, yes, he may have made a lateral move and, 
and um, you know basically got hired for the same position that he was here with the Eagles but the main thing is is that he can probably progress with the Lions versus what you know being with the Eagles 10 years and not going anywhere you know what I'm saying and you could say that was on his own accord but you know he wants to get better at his craft he wants to be able to have opportunities to call plays and stuff like that which he was never going to be able to do here and um in philadelphia apparently you know even with this new coaching regime i mean three coaching coaching regimes you know what i'm saying it's 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 time you know what i'm saying so you know shout out to him you know nothing but well wishes for him in his uh new tenure as a detroit lion coach now lastly I don't normally address haters. You know what I'm saying? Not, not not normally. Not like this. But when you, and by you, I mean this person right here, want to say something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like something, you want to call somebody a house Negro. House Negro. And then be, and then on top of that, not only do you completely make yourself look dumb by saying that, you know, the Eagles didn't release him well first of all he was on a contract with the philadelphia eagles and he asked for his release from his contract so and then to say what you said i'm gonna just say this man whatever anger issues that you got you need to go ahead and work that out work it out however you need to make sure you don't hurt anybody in the process but i'm gonna sit here and say this man you know, it comes down to when black people need to stick together and to hold each other up. But when you got stuff like that, when you have a mindset like that, you can't help but bring anybody else down. So you need to go ahead, take yourself, put yourself in a corner. And then when you're ready to be big boy, when you're ready to actually work with people and hold people up, your people, then let me know. Other than that, you stay out my comment section. Or be in it. It doesn't matter to me. But regardless, I know I'm going to see it because you're going to delete it. <laughs> anyway, the rest of you guys, you let me know in the comments below. How do you feel about everything, you know, that I posted in the video? You know, how do you feel about the moves? You know what I'm saying? That the uh, Eagles made with the offensive coordinator. How do you feel about Dave Fitt, Deuce Staley, all those guys. If you got something to say, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to hit that notification bell. So that way you know whenever I post a video. Other than that, guys, keep your talent sharp. Bird gang and go birds. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. And that's what's up. You guys take it easy. Peace. Every time they put me in a battle, I'm lethal. Nigga, too sweet and low, you ain't equal. Shut them down. I shut them down.